Hello, I'm Phil Ernest on the train to Bangkok aboard the Thailand Express. In this video, I will be on the train from Kanchanaburi to Bangkok. But first, let me show you around Kanchanaburi. Right now, I'm going to take a look at an old-time train. This train is on display at the Kanchanaburi train station. And this is a quick look at what it looks like inside the train. There's never a dull moment around the Kanchanaburi old bridge, as these people here prepare for a religious ceremony. Notice all the pretty flowers decorated and ready to go. I'm on the Kanchanaburi bridge overlooking the Kwan River. In a few minutes, I will be aboarding the Thailand Express heading down this track, heading to Bangkok. But before that, I want to give you a little bit of history about this fascinating old bridge in Kanchanaburi and how it came to be. During World War II, the Japanese occupied this part of the country. They wanted a bridge that would connect Thailand to Miramar, so they had their prisoners of war construct this bridge. Sadly, many of those prisoners of war lost their lives constructing this bridge. And off in the distance, here comes the Thailand Express now. Notice how close this bridge is constructed to the train. Here comes the train now, look out. this train in a hurry. Okay, this is the big challenge. From the time this train passes me, I gotta start running. I got 45 seconds to catch this train. If I don't make it, I have to wait three hours for the next train. Let's go after it. Excuse me, excuse me. Okay, train is slowing down. Now I'm gonna make it. Now I can rest on the train. Okay, so what did I learn from this whole thing? I learned that it's important to be able to run for at least 45 seconds to a minute if you need to catch a train, a bus, or a plane. Now that I made it safely on the train, let me show you some of the sights that I saw along the way. Thailand is a beautiful country with a lot of farmlands from Kanchanaburi to Bangkok. This is a rice field. Look how cool that looks with the trees reflecting off of the water. If you're finding this video informative, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of this amazing content, please subscribe to the channel. Sometimes when you're riding on a train, the train will have to pull over to the side for a few minutes to let another train go by. That was the case with us here, but it would only lasted for about 10 minutes, and then we were back up and on our way. Now that you've seen the outside of the train, let's take a look at inside the train. This is what the seats look like. They do not recline, but they are fairly comfortable. The train doesn't have air condition, so they have the windows open, but the place is well ventilated. At the end of the cabin, you'll see restrooms on each side. Turning around and walking on this side, you will see there are ceiling fans, which really weren't needed since the, they did have good ventilation throughout the cabin. And there are storage racks to put your things up top if you need to store anything. At the very end of each cabin, you'll see a couple of sinks there if you need to wash your face and hands. And the train has about 12 stops on this three hour commute. The man will come out, hold up the red flag there while people uh, get off the train and get back on. And then in a short time, we're back and rolling. The train stops are only for about one minute each, just enough time to let people on and off. Um, as far as food goes, there's a lady that'll come around if you wanna buy some food. Um, and look at this little guy, he's getting something right there. But it's really a laid back atmosphere. Even if you wanna bring your own food on, on the train, they will allow that. 
so they're really not picky on this train. It's a really low pressure situation. Uh, the train guy will come around the conductor and collect your money. For a foreigner, it's 100 baht, which is the equivalent to three US dollars. So really cheap for a three hour commute from Kanchanaburi to Bangkok. Another convenient thing about riding this train is you don't need to make reservations in advance or show your passport at all when buying a ticket. Just hop on and go. And on this train, they also have a cabin reserved for people with disabilities, senior citizens, and monks. There's a monk right there in deep thought looking out the window. We have now finally arrived in Bangkok. This is the first of the four train stations that they have in Bangkok. When you get to Bangkok, you'll immediately notice it because the buildings are bigger and the people are moving faster. Look how fast this motorbike guy is going right here, outracing the train. And finally, after being on the train for a little more than three hours, you'll arrive at the final train station in Bangkok and you'll know it when you see all these train cars lined up. Once you get here, you can immediately just disembark and go on your way. And this is a panoramic view of the final train station in Bangkok, just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Once all the passengers are safely off the train, the workers immediately get busy breaking down the train, getting it ready for yet another commute. If you would like to see my other videos on Thailand, please click on the link now. Thank you so much for watching.